Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly tarot reading. This reading is for the 3rd of October, so the whole week of that first week of October. We are looking into the Celtic Cross, so we're going to get out energies about what is going on with you, looking at different blockages, challenges, um, possibilities, and even outcomes there with regards to any situation that may come up because it is a general reading. And remember, my bonus today at the end of the reading, I had you a separate little bonus reading at the end of every reading. This week, I'm looking into someone's energy. So somebody you may be curious about, somebody from your past, we're going to get a couple of cards out and see exactly what's going on in their world. So stick around for the end of the reading so you can get to the bonus. Um, next week's bonus is going to be looking into money. Okay, what's going on in your world of finances? So let's get in here. Maybe there's something you need to know with regards to that. It'll be next week's bonus. So if you want to catch that for next week, do subscribe so that you don't lose the channel. And um, hit that notification bell so you know when your videos come out. Um, what else? It's a general reading. If it does resonate with you, you're going to know straight away um if it doesn't also check your stuff like rising your moon and venus especially with love um what else um personal readings i do personal readings um I do video call as well as video chat, just like this, exactly like this. And if you want to have one, contact me via my email in the below, in the description box, and I'll give you all the details. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is going on with you in your main energy. Helpless and hopeless, what is going on here? Um, we're going to get some more of these cards out as well. Helpless and hopeless is coming up here. This is an eight of swords. So it's an indication that something is blocked. Um, there's a lot of weird energies going on right now. We're in a, quite a big um, retrograde energy um, that we're going through. So sometimes it feels like the progress that we've made moving forward is taking a little bit of a step back in our lives. Um, the helpless and hopeless card is actually an illusion, illusion. Because the Eight of Swords is actually an card of illusions. It's almost like we feel as if something is not moving. We feel as if things are not happening. Okay. It may not be the case, the case though. So let's get in here and see what is causing this blocked feeling. Like something is not going to go your way or something has not gone your way. Um, there could even be a blockage of some sort between two people, a lack of communication. It just depends what comes up in the reading. Okay, so let's see where are you feeling blocked? What is causing this feeling in your world? This could be something long term as well. Okay, that card remained. There's two cards that have remained. I'm going to go with what they are. Let's go in here. There is a really interesting reading coming in here. You've got a page of wands coming up with a temperance card. I do feel like you're being extremely careful to hope here. There's been some kind of like, almost like, I'm just hearing what Spirit Guide is saying. I do feel like this has got to do with life in general, basically. This seems to me, it's something long term. Okay. That has been in your world for quite some time there's a blockage there's a specific area of your life here it can be a relationship area love you know and it can be career finances or just things going your way so you've always feel like things don't go my way because you do have two cards that we got out here for the blockage energy which could just fell down you've received or you're going to be receiving some kind of information here with the page of wands it can be a message it can be a new person coming in um it can be an email that's important to you okay but you are scared to hope you are scared to believe that this is going to be okay because of what you've experienced here in the past so you're kind of like going i i i see this happening it feels like it may be too good to be true I am not 100% sure if this is actually what is going to take place. So you're being extremely cautious here with regards to what this blockage is for you. Okay, let's go deeper and have a look at what's going on in the root energy here. So there is a new start here for you. Let me move these cards like that. There is a new start that has begun here. But it's almost like you, you don't know. Um... The four of wands coming there was something good that took place here that made you feel happy but now that you're in here you're not sure um if things are going to unfold the way that you want them to unfold there was a moment here of you going okay and you want this you really really want this with the four of wands you really want this new beginning you really want this new start in your world but now you you're doubting a little bit because of what has happened in the past you're kind of going i'm not sure if this is actually going to go anyway what if it's just uh, 
dream in the clouds and I just see it there and the next moment the wind blows and the dream is gone. Let's have a look in your past year. The lover's card. This could be about relationships. Okay. Got Gemini coming in here. If this is not about a relationship, I feel like it's talking about the balance and alignment in your life here. This could be life journey that you're looking at, or it could be about love. Um, there has been relationships I feel like that didn't work in the past. They could have even been now, for instance, if you're looking at a relationship, you could have met somebody new or you could even be in the energy of meeting someone new here. Your blockage is love. If it is not love, then it talks about the balance that you need to find. Why is there a certain aspect of my life here that is not the way it should be it's like my life is okay i'm a balanced human being but there's always seems to be some kind of blockage that is taking place um i believe to be 100 percent on my opinion anyway is that each one of us um in our own way is born carrying an eight of swords and this is a problem that remains with us throughout like our entire lifetime it's almost like it just doesn't seem to get solved. This problem just remains and remains and remains and remains. I actually think um, this is something like this. Okay, let's have a look at the possibilities here. We've got the sun card rocking up here. I feel like your possibility is that you can get to this goal. For me, like I said, I believe we are born, each one of us, one of us with a different eight of swords. I actually do think that every one of us is meant to break that. You're meant to come out of that eight of swords and you're meant to find that happiness that you're missing, that you're looking for, the joy and be at peace in your world and see the growth happen where underneath there is no growth here. Interestingly enough, it's like you're standing there in that card waiting for the sun to rise and above you in the possibility is the sun that is rising. You can break this blockage. You can. Um, because I feel like we are born to do that. It's one of our missions on this on this planet, you know. Um, when people sometimes say, um, why am I born? What is it I meant to be doing? What is What aspect of your world is always blocked? Do you have a problem with relationships? Have you got a health problems? Um, do you have problems? That, there's, there's one problem, financial, career. Um, like you can't maybe hold a job, like you keep having, you work for one year, you lose your position, whatever the case may be. And it's like, I'm, uh, how do I break that? That is why you came here, to break it. Okay, let's look into the future, yeah? You've got an ace of inspiration coming up here. You do have a new start coming in. And I even feel like you already, in some kind of way, know about it. Because you've got a page of wands, yeah? And now you've got a page, an ace of wands. I do feel like you are going to be stepping into something new here. And it is what information has come through or what information is coming through. You are going to go for it. You are going to step into this. And you're going to feel really good about it. But I feel like that's where we're going back to this again. I feel like you've experienced this before. When you have a new lover coming in. You know, you have a new job offer and it feels like your life is going in the right direction. You always feel so good about it. And you're like, yeah, we go. Um, this is so good. I'm so happy about this. It's in the start I've always wanted. Remember, your fear is that what if um, it just ends up not going the way I wanted to go? What if it's always like I'm, I'm always thinking, finally, I found this thing. Finally, I got myself going. And then when I'm going, it doesn't happen. So I feel like there's your fear. You always want this new start to come in. So let's look at how you're feeling about yourself here. Are you ready for it? Death card. You so want this to be over. I'm going to tell you something. I'm feeling with the death card, we've got Scorpio, we've got Gemini here as well. We've got Sagittarius as well with the um, Temperance. With this coming up here, I really, I've noticed something here. You've got three major arcanas coming up in your reading. I do feel like some of what you're experiencing here is possibly karmic related. So that means that there could be something that you need to pay 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 the debt for <laughs> i always feel like karma is you got to pay that debt you got to pay that debt and when you've paid it you're out of it you can now be released from it um there is definitely something here you need to release um you need to let go of and the only way if this is a karmic situation that i know that you can break something that's karmic related even if it and you might go i haven't done anything wrong why do i carry this karma um, 
I don't know what your belief system is that with regards to how when we read tarot cards what we are learning is from our spirit guides is that we do have many incarnations on this planet it's many not just i sometimes see like on youtube people will come in and say um uh like this person was reincarnated like you know there's a story about them like it's such an unusual thing and it's like oh wow this, i think they lived another life you know and they're not realizing that everybody's doing it it's not just one person everybody is recycling on this planet again and again um, we can stay away for a while, but we always somehow return. And I feel like you have been doing that with the death card. You have been recycling here. There are certain things that maybe happened in another lifetime. It could have been three, four lifetimes ago. It can be lifetimes from thousands of years ago, to be honest with you, that now is coming up in this lifetime. You have to work through it. And if you do this, it's major and um, you will have a rebirth in your life. And the only way, like I said, I know to break karma is to go into isolation and to go into the hermit energy. It's the only way you break karma. You cannot engage with karma because karma will engage back. Okay. Um, it will continually spinning. It will keep spinning in some kind of way if you keep on interacting with it, what the blockage is. So if you, for instance, have a relationship problem, then it's time to go into a little bit of isolation there and not even consider wanting to be in a relationship for a while. If it is life in general and you're going, it's my job and I cannot not go and engage in my job, you know what I mean? Then you have to isolate yourself as much as possible from the outside world. Um, and I know that seems like I'm saying it's so weird, but it's actually what it is. Um, it's like you go into hermit. And that means you go to work, you come back, you don't chat on your phone, you don't do anything, you don't communicate at all. Um, you go into isolation, you don't go out, you go to movies, you go to the shop, you come back. That's it. And you stay like that for a like two, three months if you can. Okay. And that is why when we all went into lockdown, if we were alone, you might find the people who were actually isolating alone learned so much and they had major changes in, your, in their lives. And people who were isolating sometimes with family, a lot of drama got exposed. It's because they really got deeper into the spiraling of the, of the karma. Um, it is everything. We all carry it. It is normal. It is normal. It's the cycle of life, okay? Um, so let's have a look and see what is yes. Without a doubt, the energy around you is karmic. Okay, judgment card coming in here. They want you to try to release this. And um, it doesn't mean that we are bad people because we carry karma. We carry karma. Um, that's why when you are now living your life in this lifetime, you saw this reading, I've told you something. Walk lightly. Step lightly in your life be very careful how you are interacting with everything around you because people do not understand every one of your actions is going to have an equal reaction back to you um sometimes even more so we must be very careful not to string people along and hurt their feelings we must be very careful how we interact to everything around us, every living thing and every non-living thing, how we interact to the earth that we live on, because there's karma attached to that as well. You're caught in a very huge karmic loop that we don't realize um, is what's causing everything. And um, how you treat this planet, even if it means you just throw a bottle out the window when you're driving, it's such a disrespect to the planet it does create karma people don't know that they i see them driving sometimes you see somebody throw something out of the car you know it's just like so what somebody else will pick it up it's not about that it's about your energy and what you're doing um it's about people who there's like people maybe yeah with the lovers card who did things to you and um they hurt you and they intentionally um, made you believe that there was something when there was nothing they're going to have a huge karmic debt to pay there are people out there who are serial daters, who are dating several people at the same time, hurting everybody. They do not know what they are doing. And they will one day maybe have another lifetime and see some really bad stuff happening. And they don't even understand that. Why am I having these experiences? It's because in a past life, um, something happened and you were responsible. 
And it doesn't mean that A, your soul is bad. No, it means you're human. It means you're trying to escape this loop. And um, the only way to do it is to realize that it's happening. And it is to go into isolation and to, re to, to be able to release this. There is a usually a time frame attached to this. But the only way to break it is to fully accept it and to understand it. If you're in denial about it, the loop will continue. So if you can go, okay, I think I'm carrying this karma um, and this is what's going on with me, then you bravely say to the universe give it to me i'm going to carry it now it's my responsibility to do so and in the carrying of it and the accepting accepting of it in your life i'm living this life this is what's going on with me because of this you'll be so surprised how quick how quickly you release it and you become out of it reborn you get released from it. It comes out of you. But if you're in denial about it, if you're not in accepting of it, and you are totally um, fighting against it, you will get into trouble. It will going to keep on returning again and again and again. It feels like something is stuck. So even if you're saying, I, will I ever be able to get rich? And you feel like you're never going to get rich. Accept that you won't get rich and be like, okay, fine. I accept it. You know, I'll always be hand to mouth. This is my life. I accept humbly and you keep on going through it, it won't stay that way. The acceptance is the releasing of the karma. If you are um, having problems with relationships and you can never find the right person, then you say to yourself, okay, universe, I don't know what I did in the past life here. I take full responsibility for it. And if I'm going to be single forever, then I accept that. I'll just accept it. It's one of the hardest things to do. Um, literally, some people have it so bad that um, it's not even in one area of their life. It's in many areas. If you've got that, if it is relationships and it is the career and it is finances and it is I can't find a place to stay, there's so many different things, friends, everything, family, everything, then you, my beautiful, absolutely lovely cancer, are an extremely old soul. And you knew what you were doing when you came here. And you knew, you knew you needed to do this. Because you knew inside of you, you have the wisdom to be able to carry it and release it. And can I tell you something? One of the reasons, if that's you specifically, I'm talking to you and you're going, that's me. Um, it's why you're coming into tarot readings. You're seeking the answers to something. And you're trying to get information and I feel like, for honestly, especially for, the, for those of you who feel like it's your whole world, um, your spirit guides are speaking directly to you, trying to tell you this. They are letting you know, don't fight this. Fighting it is you creating resistance. Accept it fully. Accept it and be like, okay, i got to pay my dues. I'm going to accept this. This is on a soul level what I'm meant to do. And it's so funny, you know, you're going to accept totally that this is the rest of your life. And you're not going to try to find escapes from it. You're not going to drink it away. You're not going to bury it under whatever you want to bury it under to make it feel better. You're going to breathe in that energy. You're going to breathe. That's what you're going to do. You're going to accept it and you're going to accept everything that you're seeing around you. And you're going to breathe every single day. And you fully carry it. And when you do this, and you truly accept and you just go, okay, that's it for me. Uh, universe, I understand what's happening. Spirit guides, God, whatever. I do take responsibility for my life, even though I don't know what happened, but where it comes from. But it is what it is. Remember, our personalities change. We are not only who we are now. We are many characters that we play. Okay. And this is one of them. But the soul inside, inside of most of you guys that I'm speaking to is very, very old and understands all of this. You breathe into it. Breathe into that acceptance and just be. And then wait and see. Then wait and see. This reading got very deep. You got, it's going to be about a year. You are, you're worried that it will be with you forever. The Knight of Pentacles, because you don't see it shifting. Your fear is that it is going to be with you forever. 
that you will never see that stability in life that you're looking for and you hope that it will, won't be so long. I'm telling you right now, if you do what I'm telling you, yeah, you come into full acceptance of everything in your world and you just accept that this is going to be your life from now on and not hate it. Find peace in it. You will have this shifting from you slowly over the next 12 months. Maybe, oh, maybe a little bit more than a year. Let's have a look and see. you got to take that. you got to look at things very differently. you got to look at your life very, very differently. You, this page of swords, it's, it's looking at things from a different perspective. As you can see, she's like literally looking there at all the different angles, different ways of seeing something. If you do this, I do feel like you will have that new start that you're looking for. Life, it's not what we perceive it to be it is something completely different and it's so much bigger than just who you are right now underneath here yeah, they're asking you to hold on just a little bit longer do not give up hope keep on in the negative energy that you may feel that you are in so even if you feel like life is really hard hold on a bit longer but fully accept it do not fight this look at things from a different perspective because there's going to be a shift that takes place here yeah, I, think, I did see it come out like this. I feel like you will, there is karmic energy that you're going to be releasing. Because this is totally the meaning of the judgment card. It means to release negative karmic cycle and to move forward. Look how, that, look how she's got the light just coming out of her heart, like letting it go, fully accepting and just let this, just let's go. It comes up with the death card as well. When you do this, a change is going to take place over a year, year and a half period of time where you're going to understand how things are and you're going to see those changes. So let's get in here. Let's get two more cards for you out using how you will emotionally sometimes be feeling because this is a psychic tarot of the heart. So I want to see here and don't forget because we're looking at someone's energy. Okay, so if you want to know what's going on with somebody that you may not have contact with or even somebody that you do have contact with, maybe a new person around you or just curious about anything, anyone that you're curious about, we're going to check into them. Right now we've got, oh, you got the death card twice. Look what they're saying. Release it. You got Scorpio. This twice the card has come out here now. Without a doubt, accept this. Accept this blockage. Welcome it with open arms and love it, even though it may not be something that's so loving, but accept it. In doing so, you are going to create a major break in a karmic cycle that you are finding yourself in. Um, you got to release this to the universe and be in full acceptance of whatever comes after that. Just be like, I, I accept. I carry it. I'm taking responsibility. I carry it and I accept it. And that's how I'm going to be. This is my life sentence. You know what I mean? Accept it. And that is when you are going to see some unbelievable change. You've got the death card coming in twice. Let's see what else comes here. Oh man, you're reading. i got to see under the deck here. The healing will begin. Oh, you got a six of swords. you got to do this. Please, please, please. Let me just turn this card over. Six of swords shows that healing begins. Um, in accepting, in carrying this with you a little bit longer, you will have the real beginning. You have got the death card twice here, and you've got the ace of wands twice. New vitality. You will balance every chakra that you have <laughs> in doing so. Um, you need to start looking at your world and your existence and everything that's happened to you, not as... Um, this person did this and hurt me, that person did that and hurt me. It's bigger than that. This is bigger than that. Okay. you got to start looking at it from a spiritual point of view. Whenever you, well, no matter what you do does not work, then what we do is we go within and we figure out what is going on inside. And it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It means there's a deeper understanding, a deeper meaning to what is going on in your life. And you have got to um, look at things in a very different way. When you just change that point of view, you change the perspective on what is going on with you. This is when that death card is going to take place and slow change is going to happen. You are going to move into this new vitality in your world. I promise you, 
I promise you it, it can be done. Your soul, the soul that I'm speaking to you, listening silently inside of you, knows. <sighs> knows. It just wants you, the brain, this body, to understand. Your personality and your energy, your soul, is not the same thing. Okay, it's something different. But ultimately, when this is no more, you will still be that energy inside. Personality will be gone though. It will remain a bit, but it does go. So let's do it. Quite a deep reading. Cancer. Whoa. Let's get into the bonus. Ta -da. Who are you, are you thinking about? Comment below and let's look in their world. Okay. Drama is happening in this person's world. Six of Pentacles. The Four of Wands as well. And the energy under the deck. Two of Wands. This person, um, whoever they are, is in... Is in the brink of making a decision they need to make a decision here with the two of wands they don't know what i'm not sure where they're going here they're at the fork road so two of wands literally means i'm at this fork road here i'm either going this way or i'm going this way there is things taking place in their world here that they like and that they don't like with regards to groups of people or dating it's not going well okay um if friends, family, co-workers would be indication of the Three of Cups here. There's either people that they are friends with or people that they're surrounding themselves with here where there's a lot of drama that's taking place. I do feel for some reason this person is holding on to people that, that they should not be holding on to because somehow or the other they're getting something from it. There is an aspect of them when they are friends with these people or they are dating this person or they are the family and there's either something that they're getting from it, okay? They're getting something from it, but on the opposite side of it, they're also getting something that they don't like. So this is why they're trying to make a decision here, okay? Because there's definitely something about what's happening in their world with the four of wands the decision they're trying to make here is to have a new start okay they might even be um regretting getting married or thinking about maybe maybe they got engaged or something and now they're going i don't know if i want to be engaged you know what i mean or they're going i got married i don't know if i want to be married because yes we are stable together but we're not okay emotionally or they could be thinking about the new start that they want to have but they're yet still trying to decide what to do this person whoever they are may leave life something behind in their life and then move on to a new start or they may decide to remain and put up with this okay because they're getting some kind of payoff they could be working you just get paid very well for where they're working but the the drama of where they work and the treatment where they are working is bad you see so they stay maybe for that um definitely without a doubt there is something in this person's life that they are not happy about the four of wands talks about your life what you how you're living in the reverse position the upright new cycle upside down a new cycle needs to begin but you got to take action to change that two of wands so there's something about how they live where they live um, the life that they're living, that they don't like what it looks like. But at the same time, they need to make a decision if they're going to do something about it or if they're just going to keep on remaining in these two kinds of energies. Happy, good, not so good. So they kind of like, I feel like they haven't yet made a decision about what they're going to do. They're still in the two of ones, not being sure what to do. I feel like they are more and more looking at changing something in my energy, what I'm picking up on here. But there we go. Thank you so much. Don't forget, next week we're looking into the financial stuff. So if you want to catch that, subscribe to the channel. And then you're going to catch that extra bonus looking into the money and seeing what's going on over there, as well as your usual reading. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for watching the video as well. It means so much to me. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.